peekaboo. G'day, Phil here. So I've been printing out some tension relief bands and I've been having problems with my 3D printer. Um, I'm using PETG and it's been causing me so many issues. Yeah, lots of stringing, some burning. And one really strange issue that I had that I'd never heard of before was um, such good adherence to the bed in some cases that it was actually peeling glass off. And so I put down painter's tape and that helped a little bit, but now even that's not working. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna replace it with uh, a new glass bed. Also, man bundle it. Yeah, there are quite a few spots in here. Here, 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 here. Lots of little bits that came off. Let's have a, let's get a close up. See if we can. Can you see that? There we go, upside down. Sort of see those imperfections in the surface there. They're actually slivers of glass that have come off onto the bottom of some of the uh, the prints that have come out of this. I obviously threw those ones out. Almost broke the GoPro. Wait, they're pretty tough, they shouldn't break. <clears throat> I got these mirror tiles for 10 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, not bad at all, and they're like dead flat. It's awesome. These are a pretty good substitute for the glass beds that come with the we've got the Creality CR10. It's a nice big square, but that's a little bit too big for my printer, as you can see from this one here. Different sizes. Uh, so I've got to cut this down. So I'm get this out of the way. Yeah. Okay, uh, oh, I can just use the old one to measure, actually. Let's just put this on. That'll work. Uh, one at the edge. You can see when I did the last one, um, just along here, it didn't quite cut, or it didn't quite break evenly. So there's like a little pointy bit. I actually sanded these off last time too, to make it a little bit less dangerous for myself when taking it on and off the printer or, or uh, adjusting things. Okay. Let's move this one out of the way. So we have a nice straight line and to score it with the glass cutter. I, I still can't believe this works. So I'm going to score along here and I might, I might hold it on the edge of the table and snap it off. Um, it terrifies me a little bit. Uh, it is what it is. I wish I knew how to use one of these properly. I'm kind of just guessing. I mean, it worked okay last time, but who knows? It's probably a better way. Hmm, not the straightest line the world has ever seen. Uh, 
if you can see that there. Okay, okay, okay. I need to put this on something. Um, Oh, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. <laughs> Shit, that didn't work. All right, let's try again. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Tenth time's a charm. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oops. Eh, that didn't work at all. I mean, Got a little bit of glass, but that's um that's not the shape I was after. Um, I need to go back and research how to do this properly. All right, I've cleaned up the mess from that piece of glass. Um, it turns out this tape works really well for picking up the little tiny shards of glass that are everywhere now. I should be wearing gloves too. I I don't have gloves. Okay. But we'll clean this up, go get another piece of glass, and try again. Here we are. What I learned from a YouTube video that I just watched is you have to do it in one pass, then put it on the edge of the table and snap. So let's give that a try. One pass, one pass. Whew, here goes nothing. That still wasn't even, but it's gonna have to do. And a quick snap. So makeshift, makeshift gloves. <sighs> Okay, that was better. It's a lot more straight. Um, let's have a look at the result here. Ha, the same thing happened as last time. Actually, you've got a little bit of a point on the edge there, but the rest seems pretty smooth. So let's just grab some sanding paper and fix that up a little bit. Alrighty, so I have cleaned the piece of glass and cleaned up my mess on the table and hopefully all the little shards of glass uh, that are all over the floor. But um, yeah, it's ready to install. I'm gonna pop it on, then I'll have to level it. Just line that up. One. Two, three, and four. And it's as simple as that. I'm going to switch it on, heat it up. Um, 
apparently best to, to do the bed leveling when it's at temperature. So any thermal expansion that happens in the print nozzle or I guess even the bed itself can be taken into account. Um, so let's do that and then see if it prints. I have a piece of paper here that I'm using to test if it's uh, close enough to the print bed. It um, It's gripping and I can't quite slide it back under. I never quite know if it's meant to just be touching or if it's really meant to be kind of gripping hard on that paper. So um, I don't know if you can see here, but it's leaving some scrape marks on there. So that seems pretty damn close. <sighs> also when doing this, be careful. If you're using the print bed when it's hot, it's hot. This is 80 degrees Celsius and uh, my fingers are getting a bit tender. It feels like I could do this all day and still get exactly the same results. So just gonna start a print and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go, fingers crossed. To be honest, it's not looking great at the back. I don't know if it's too close or too far away, but it's going kind of blobby. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, so, um, I don't think that's successful. I'll try leveling again and maybe changing the nozzle and see how it goes. All right, I've left this go a little bit longer. It's it's looking messy. I, I don't know, it's not great. But um, anyway, I do have some printing to do with PLA instead of PETG, and that's generally a lot more forgiving for me, at least on, on this printer. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to clean this up, uh, change filaments and give that a try. Um, but, uh, I did achieve my main goal here, which was replacing the print bed. Um, so it's nice and smooth again, no shards of glass everywhere. Uh, so yeah, job well done or, you know, job done at least. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Quick update. It seems like I can finally print again. Um, I replaced the PETG with PLA. I replaced the print nozzle because it was, I mean, it was ruined. And I re-leveled the print bed due to the changes. And now, check this out. There's a temperature tower to fine tune the temperature, but I mean, it's working. So now it seems like I can print the uh, stuff that I need to print. What a relief. Anyway, have a good day or night or whatever time of day it is where you are. Thanks again for watching. Bye.